A few months ago, Lisa and I set one of the most ambitious running goals of her entire career. And over the past few months, she's been logging run after run after run and laying down consistent mileage and honestly blowing away both of our expectations with her performance. You know that feeling you get? That thought in the back of your mind that says, how far could I really go? What if I really went for this? As athletes and coaches, we know that achieving this peak performance is about more than just riding the highs. You can't be a fair weather trainee and expect to crush your PRs. It doesn't work like that. You need to be willing to take a risk. You need to commit and go all in. You need an audacious, slightly crazy goal. And that's why in 2024, Lisa set her sights on the goal of competing in the USATF San Diego Road Series and winning the whole thing. San Diego Road Series is a series of five races contested over the course of a few months, and they are in order the Kook 10K, the Carlsbad 5000, the Navy Bay Bridge 4 Miler, the San Diego Rock and Roll Half Marathon, and the Scripps Wrench Old Pros 10K. So they range from the 5K all the way to the Half Marathon. Now, once you sign up, you become eligible if you compete in at least three out of five of those races. And based on your placing in each of those races, you get a certain number of points. Of course, the closer you are to first, the more points that you get. And at the end of the five races, the person with the most points wins the whole thing. So this goal is unique for at least three reasons. First, this is a lot more racing than Lisa has ever done in a season, at least post collegiately. See, we've been doing this whole coach athlete thing for about 12 or 13 years now and she's really only ever trained for one or two races per season. Part of that is just because life gets in the way, racing young kids takes a lot of time. Injuries happen, but this season, you know, we're really committing to this whole series of five races, plus some tune-up races here and there, of course, and so there's gonna be a lot of racing drawn out over several months, and so to stay at that level of fitness, that's gonna require some careful planning, careful programming, and of course, uh, dedication to training, which is in the bag for Lisa. She's super dedicated, uh, but life sometimes gets in the way. So that's the first thing. The second thing is that she's going to probably need to PR in a lot of these races, checking out the competition from previous seasons, which of course we have, in order to be in the top 10, top five, top three, in some or all of these races will likely require some PR performances. And as we all know, as we get older, that gets harder with age. And so that brings us to the third thing, which is that she's gonna be 38 this year. And there's a lot of younger folks in these races, some fresh out of college being very fit, some being on the road circuit for a few years now. And so there's some very stiff competition here in San Diego, which we would of course have it no other way. But that just is kind of that third unique thing about this goal, which makes it a lofty goal, but it's a worthy goal, I think for Lisa. So in this video, what we want to do is we really just want to invite you all into this process and have you come along this journey with us. We hope to catalog her training as she goes to today in this video. This will be a summary of some of her training leading up to this point. And I'll do a little nerd out deep dive with you as a sport physiologist. And then in future videos, we want to take you behind the scenes on race day and just take you along with us in this journey. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. my athletes I start with a funnel periodization approach where we identify the goal that they have in mind and then we work on yes the work capacity and base building qualities necessary but also we start off with some of the neuromuscular components that they need to build towards to get to the specific intensities that they need to hit so that we can approach it from both the endurance side and the speed side and then we funnel 
toward that race specific goal. So what this looks like in the off season for Lisa is your typical distance runner style of training where you have a long run each week or every other week. We have your steady distance runs. Sometimes we have double days. We're generating a large volume of training so that we can get that mitochondrial biogenesis and increase ATP production so that we can get the capillary density and improved blood flow and improved oxygen delivery to the muscles. But at the same time, we're also doing things like extensive plyometrics, which are low intensity plyometrics, like hops and skips to improve tissue quality and integrity and to improve the elasticity of the muscular tendinous units. We're doing slightly higher intensity plyometrics. We're doing heavy resistance training to not only improve recovery between sessions, but also to improve the robustness and the athlete's overall ability to handle more intense work to come. And we're doing hill sprints and eventually flat ground sprints, starting off with barefoot strides on the grass so that we are working on some running mechanics and we're getting all of those good neuromuscular benefits. So we're supporting the eventual race pace running later in the season with both endurance qualities that are gonna come up under and support it and speed qualities that are come, going to come from above. And we're going to funnel both of those toward race specific qualities when it really counts. Now, essentially periodization is just a roadmap for your athletes to get from point A to point B without getting hurt, without overtraining, and making sure that they're peaked at the right time and that you can sequentially arrange their training such that one mesocycle of training logically flows out of the next. Now, once I have this roadmap, so to speak, in place, then any given week, it just comes down to the frequency and the intensity of the different workouts. I already know the type of workouts that I wanna give her, and I go within the context of whatever our schedule is for that week, and I plan around that. I hope you've enjoyed a little peek into my training and the methods behind it. And Jacob and I are super excited to have you join us on this journey of my USATF Road Series 2024. So stay tuned. Yeah, upcoming videos should have a little bit more behind the scenes in the actual workouts. Maybe we'll get Lisa mic'd up for some of her races. And uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing how she competes in some of these early season races. Stick with us. Thanks, guys. Uh, look at this is the only scenario now that I could beat you in a race. No, you still got me. Anything under eight, I think. Eight hundred? Yeah. I wouldn't make it two laps right now.